I just wanted to do a super quick video on some of the things that I noticed flew off the shelves in the stores whenever um, people were panic buying during the first lockdown and um, pretty much also looking for suggestions on products that you guys have tried and liked and store yourself. Um, as far as powdered milk and butter goes. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a type of purified butter that I use in cooking regularly, but if it's tightly sealed and stored in a cool dry place, it can also last for a long time. Um, the powdered milks that I use, that I found and tasted, that tastes very similar to milk, unfortunately I'm not sure how much more I'm going to be able to buy because the price increase is crazy, like crazy. I'm talking like $15 when it was already $18. Um, that's upwards of almost $30. So this video today is just to give you an idea of what I have, what I use, and also looking for suggestions on anything that you guys may use or have used that you think um, is a great product to have. Um, of course, if it's money saving, that's great too. That's a bonus. So I'm going to show you what I have and what I use. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the lard because everybody knows what lard is. Um, these are just two things that um, you know somebody may not have heard of before, and might want to try. So, um, but like I said, the powdered milks, unfortunately, the price has gone up exponentially and I'm looking for alternative products to use. But let me show you what I got. And if you have any suggestions, just comment below. If you like this video, um, please like and subscribe. Thanks. These are the three brands of powdered milk that I have stocked up on. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on anything that tastes great, leave a comment below. Um, my daughter wasn't able to tell the difference between regular chocolate milk and this chocolate morning moo and white milk and the morning moo. Um, the country fresh is okay. She just doesn't prefer it. Um, but I'm not going to be buying these too much longer because the regular Morning Moo and the Country Fresh, the price is just skyrocketing. It's ridiculous. And I refuse to pay, you know, $30 for a can of that. Um, now, I don't know if you can see, but this will make up to 5.3 gallons. And same with this. And this. Um, what else I have here is ghee. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. I've been cooking with it for a while. I actually do not use butter anymore um, and substitute this in. It's purified butter actually. You can make it yourself. There's videos on it. Um, I just bought a few of these when they were on sale at Target um, to keep away in my pantry. They lasts a really really long time and it's good to have um, it tastes just like butter so the fact that it's purified and a little bit healthier for you um, I mean I guess that's a bonus right I'm not going to show you the lard because everybody knows what lard is and everybody knows that it stores well our grandparents and parents have used it in the past um, Sorry for my presentation being on the steps again, but unfortunately, this is the only room in my house right now that's not noisy. Um, so again, if you guys have any suggestions on any other powdered milk brands or fats and oils to cook with that are good for like long-term storage, I'd really appreciate if you'd comment below your suggestion. Um, and thank you all, and I hope you have a great day.